and welcome to this episode of Reckless Eating Shorts, aka We Shorts. So, Ian, I, I'm gonna let you explain exactly where we are and what we're doing. We are here in West Hollywood right now, invited down by Jack in the Box to take a look at a brand new category that they're launching on the menu very, very soon. And we're pretty excited to be here. I mean, this is just a really cool layout that they've got over here. It is super crispy in West Hollywood right now. We are sweating like ridiculous. But we are here right now to take a look at the latest and greatest brunch fest. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very, very cool. So uh, Jack in the Box invited us out here uh, just to try out everything before it comes out. The yep. first thing we've got, because we're going to do a couple, uh, the first thing is the egg and bacon chicken sandwich. The idea is that they're trying to mix their breakfast with their lunch. Okay. And so we have our first item here. Uh, where's yours? It looks amazing. What? <laughs> you need, you're, me and Ian are sharing a delectable you delight. You we had tons of it. <laughs> <laughs> While Sean's looking oh, for that, man. though, make sure to uh, go there in the description go. for the Voila. link to uh, Ian's channel and Sean's channel because they are definitely trying to phase out annotations right now. We're trying. Have you noticed that? They are They are done with that. They're like, oh, go to the end of the video. Make it extremely It's really weird. Yes. So I guess annotations yes, yes. are like going the wayside. Way of the dodo. Way of the dodo. Okay, so Sean, Look at the cheese right. on this. Man. Let's take a peek up We're close. It looks really good. Lots of bacon. I'm gonna say disclosure. Obviously, they're gonna make the best possible version because we're at a Jack in the Box event. <laughs> right, right, right. We're gonna throw that out there. It probably wouldn't look as good, but I would say Jack in the Box is one of the ones. They long do. Curls, you know, usually it looks fairly close to the picture. Wise, I mean, like at least do a good job. fifty percent or so. Yes, yes, yes. It's yes. not like McDonald's where it's like it looks like it's supposed to look like this, and it looks like a homeless person it, on the floor. If it has a little bit of money, elevation off it. the plate, yeah. it's got elevation off the plate. It yeah, looks yeah. Similar. This actually looks yeah. pretty decent. But I do want the disclosure out there because they are definitely. We're, who, this is like the best of the best for us. I'm yeah. gonna have Sean take a bite first. All right. Okay, I'm super hungry, so this is gonna be great. It's killing it away. That is a okay. crispy looking filet. Now I'm gonna throw Ian out of his comfort zone and we're gonna take a bite at the same time. Here yeah. we go. Mm -hmm. Oh god, it's so good. That chicken is mm. amazing. <laughs> mm, crispy bacon. Mm. Very crispy. Bacon. <laughs> wow. Oh, food. That is juicy. Juicy oh, We're gonna finish this and we'll do the review later. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> Sean, thoughts and rating first. I oh, think man. it's amazing. Bacon is perfect. The eggs is great. Lots of cheese. Melty yeah. cheese on it. It's really, really, yeah, good. really good. Flavorful. English muffin is toasted perfectly. That's nice. I'm totally gonna give this a five out of five. I got no complaints on it whatsoever. Yeah. I gotta tell you, going down within the layers of that one, you sink your teeth into the English muffin, you immediately hit the cheese and then the egg, and then you feel that yolk that's in there, nice yes. and cut up in there. And then you get the crispness of that chicken patty itself there, and it's breaded nicely. It's not too salty, too. Yeah. I'm really impressed with the quality on that one. If I had to rate this one right now, I'd probably give this one a solid 9 out of 10. Quality is high. So, yeah, I think one of the things that I'm hoping for out of this new uh, menu that they're bringing out is one complaint I've always had about Jack in the Box is a lot of the times their food is too greasy. This is not too greasy in the slightest. Mm. So I'm hoping that this translates well into their actual stores. Because, I mean, that's that's really my only ever complaint I have about them is that you get a burger and it's dripping grease. Yes. Yeah. This, there's no grease on this whatsoever. Like I said, I hope that when you guys try this in the stores, it'll be the same thing. From my experience here, this is amazing. Yeah. Absolutely. This is a very good breakfast fast food item. Yeah, I give it a five out of five. It's awesome. I wouldn't go seal of approval. Uh, I think, uh, I feel like I'm trying to think of negatives on it. I, I, I can't really come up with it. Really I just, it's just not something either. that I would say is like a perfect item, but it is damn good. Mm -hmm. If I could just add, this actually has almost like a light mayo-ish type of like, a, I want to say like a hollandaise type of sauce. It's something different to give you that brunch. Hollandaise bad girl. You know what? <laughs> Holla bad girl. <laughs> it's almost like kind of like a hollandaise sauce, almost like it is a brunch type item, yeah. which is kind of a cool thing there. But I love the, love the quality. I love just the size of the way that it looks. And just like you were saying there, as long as it looks relatively close to the marketing aspect of yeah. what they got going here, that's pretty dynamite. That's, that's good. pretty dynamite. That's good. All right, well, there you go, guys. More to come. And thank you to Ian and Sean. And uh, yeah, we'll probably have more on the way. We'll see you then.